What's up guys, my name is Kelvin Wiley and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, if you could please hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications, that way you're alerted every time that I post a new video. So this is going to be part one out of part two for the Jerusalem Cricket. I'm just going to be discussing basic information about the Jerusalem Cricket, uh, just going over some interesting things about it. In part two, I will be doing an enclosure setup as well as a feeding, so stay tuned for part two. Well, without further ado, let's just get right into the video. This beautiful little insect right here is what's known as a Jerusalem Cricket. Despite their name, Jerusalem Crickets are not found in Jerusalem, but are instead found in the western states of the US as well as Mexico. These guys are also not considered to be true crickets. True crickets are any cricket that is found in the family Grylidae. Jerusalem crickets, however, are in the family Stenopelmatidae, making them not to be true crickets. Jerusalem crickets aren't known to be picky eaters. In the wild, they'll feed on dead organic matter. They'll also feed on fruits and vegetables. They'll feed on plant roots, which is why sometimes people have uh, kind of labeled them a pest. They'll feed on crops, but Jerusalem crickets will also feed on insects as well. They'll feed on both live and dead insects. These insects are mostly nocturnal, and during the day, they spend most of their time usually underground or under some type of natural debris, such as logs or rocks. These guys are incredibly good at burrowing under the soil. So on their legs, especially their forelegs, they have spurs sticking out that kind of aid them into sifting through the soil, as you can see. Those little spikes. Not only that, but they kind of bulldoze their way through the soil using their big head. As you can see, their head is proportionally pretty big compared to their body. Now the mandibles of a Jerusalem cricket are pretty large and sharp. Their mandibles are backed by strong muscles which enable them to, like I was saying earlier, chew through plant roots and also other organic matter. A Jerusalem cricket that I kept years ago, I personally watched chew through a carrot like it was nothing. It was pretty incredible to just witness and I was just thinking, you know, what if that was my finger? <laughs> Um, which is going to be my next point. Uh, Jerusalem crickets will bite um, if they are provoked or if they feel, let's say, trapped. Um, now, I can't speak for every individual. Every Jerusalem cricket is going to be different. But from my personal experience, um, they really won't just bite for no reason. Now they might take a little nibble if your hand uh, smells like food. Let's say you have, I don't know, some, something on your hands uh, and the Jerusalem Cricket senses it as a food source. It might take a little bite, but they typically um, are not aggressive at all. They're completely safe and harmless insects. They're non-venomous, uh, they're not poisonous. Now I'm just going to see if this Jerusalem Cricket will bite me, just to demonstrate, to show you guys how docile they are. Not saying it won't bite me, but let's just see. So let me just get a nice grip on it so it doesn't escape. And I'm just going to put my finger up to it. So my finger is in between of its mandibles and it's not, it's really not even trying to bite down. So. Like I was saying to you guys, they're extremely docile. I'll try again here. Um, yeah, it, it has no intentions of wanting to try to bite me, so. <laughs> All right, so that is going to conclude today's video. Like I said, this is going to be part one out of part two. Part two, I will be doing a, an enclosure setup and also a feeding as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it informative. Uh, if you did, if you could please leave a like and a comment, um, and also subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell icon if you haven't already as well. If you aren't already, please follow me on Instagram at Kelvin Wiley, and also follow me on TikTok as well, Kelvin underscore Wiley. So hope you guys have a great day, hope you guys like the video, and I will see you guys next time.